So, Jazz, we're back for another pre-season. What's the feeling around the group like at the moment to have all the girls back together again, ready to go around again? Yeah, it's um, really exciting. Obviously, we've got the whole crew back now. Um, Gilly's just joined us and, yeah, everyone's excited to be here. Now, we've got quite a few new faces around. How do you think those first-year players are starting to adapt to the standard of training at the top level? Yeah, all of them have just, you know, come in and, you know, they're all... Uh, training hard and yeah I'm really looking forward to working with all of them and yeah it's nice we've got a few young'uns in there and then also you know Jazz and Kim who are mature age and so yeah good to have them around the group as well. And we've all seen that video of you FaceTiming Perry not long after she got drafted. She was wrapped with the experience obviously but what was it like for you? I mean she was really excited and, and she's previously said that you have been an absolute hero of hers in the AFLW space. Yeah me and Pez are good friends now um not only teammates, but friends. So, um, yeah, I'm wrapped to be able to work with her and, um, yeah, hopefully I can um, help her on her journey. Well, a lot of these new first-year players have been watching AFLW since they were sort of 12, 13, 14 years old. What does it mean to someone like you who's been there since day one to see all these young players coming in, having experienced a viable pathway for the last five years of their life? Yeah, it's, um, oh, it's just awesome. Like, I think back to when I was 13, 14 and I... You know, I looked up to the AFL boys players and, you know, wanted to be them. But, yeah, now these girls can look up to the, the women's players. So, yeah, it's just really exciting. And we saw quite a bit of Bella Eddy at AFLW level last year and the likes of uh, Alice O'Loughlin, Brooke Brown, Amy Smith all developed really well over the year. What do you think we can expect from this other group of young players that aren't in their first season now that they've had some experience of the top level? Yeah, I think they're going to push themselves again and, you know, hopefully play a few more games. Hopefully we see a bit more of Alice and Brooke and um, a few of the other girls. So um, they've all been working really hard and, um, yeah, really excited for them. And it's good to see Leash King back on the training track, uh, running around a bit after missing all of last season through injury. How determined do you think she is to come back, take her spot back in the team and really remind everybody of how good a player she actually is? Yeah, I'm super excited for Leash. She's looking really good at the moment and I'm hoping she can... Yeah, slot straight back in and, yeah, give the team what we need. And finally, expansion is just around the corner. It's a very exciting time for the competition and they'll no doubt be interested in your services. What can you say to the North supporters to sort of put their mind at ease that you're committed to staying at Arden Street? Yeah, I'm absolutely loving my time here and, um, yeah, I don't think I'll be going anywhere. So, um, yeah, loving what we're, we've got here and, um, you know, we're here to win a premiership and hopefully we can, um, yeah, get that. That's great to hear, Jazz, and I'm sure all the fans will love to hear that. Thank you very much. Thank you.